All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom GPT. And if you didn't see yesterday's uh, part one and part two, I'm trying to get you guys some free money and you're missing out like a kid that forgot to get his permission slip filled out for the field trip and he had to stay back in school. So the other day we built this one, this one, this one, and this one, we're gonna build another one. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you have GPT for the paid version. We're gonna go to explore. And this time we're gonna go into a niche called emergency response. Now, why? Because this is high ticket. We're gonna build a custom GPT for this. So what am I saying, guys? A lot of you guys are selling AI services uh, a lot of you guys are trying to sell the custom GPTs. I'm not going to show you how to do that. You don't want to sell the custom GPTs. Everybody on YouTube is telling you to do that. But this is what you can do instead. You keep the assets, okay? If you ain't got no cash yet, it's because you don't own no assets. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this high ticket emergency response training and we're going to stuff it into this custom GPT bot that we're building. We're going to click on create a GPT. And you guys can go ahead and follow along. Let me know in the comments below if anybody has showed you this on any other channels yet to go ahead and charge as a service, not selling the dang on GPT, the custom GPT. All right, turn this into a service. So we're gonna build this, I already named it. This is my document file right here. If you have a short attention span, look, calm your nerves, calm it. You wanna stay to the end on this one because if you copy this guys, then you'll be able to make a lot of money because some of you guys are selling Facebook ads, some of you guys are selling uh, SEO, some of you guys are selling chat bots. Stop, stop selling chat bots. That's so low barrier to entry, amateur. All right, you want to give away, use as bait what other people are selling. So if you know that other people are selling chat bots, AI, chat bots, web bots, and all of that Zapier automation bull crap. Use that as like tosses. You know what I'm saying? That is the bait to catch them to sell people what you want to actually sell them that is unique. Create different offers. So let's go. We're going to go ahead and get started. It says, hi, I'll help you build a new GPT. You can say something like make a creative who helps generate visuals for new products. So check this out. This is going to be super fun. All right. I want to create a custom GPT that uh, all local businesses can train their uh, employees or staff for emergency response training. Okay, boom. Here we go. All right. So we're going to cover all aspects of emergency response training. And as you guys can see, the prices of this, what they usually have to pay these companies. Let's check out some of the prices while it's talking over there. We got $2,800 for uh, aviation firefighting, uh, advanced resuscitation. Uh, that's a day's training. That is $299. This one right here is two days training, advanced first aid, uh, breathing apparatus and, and confined space rescue refresheners. I mean, refreshers, $775. Look at this. Certificate uh, number three or the third certificate, whatever you want to call it, emergency response and rescue. We're going to get all of this and we're going to stuff it into this. And a lot of warehouses require you to have hazmat training. Trust me, I used to have a lot of those jobs. So we're going to get all of this and we're going to stuff it in here. All right. So it says, great. I suggest the name uh, uh, that you name this emergency guide expert. Boo, we ain't doing it. <laughs> we want to make a lot of money. So we want to uh, say, no, we're going. And y'all tell me in the chat if y'all think I should name it something else. You guys should be creating your own though. Right. Follow along. Follow along. When I look at the retention, this should be like a full all across the board retention because you can make a crap load of money with this. As I just showed you, the prices that people that companies are paying for this training and you can just use this tool to train their staff instead of them doing that. Or you are, you know, even better. You can sell this, not sell the actual tool itself, but sell the services to, uh, you know, tailored, you know, training for specific industries and stuff to the emergency response trainers. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to name it uh, job doc. OK, that might be lame, but we'll just use that. All right. So while that's doing that, we want to start getting prepared so we can close this out. All right. So what is the first one? Advanced first aid. OK, so we're going to ask ChatGPT, give me everything I need to know to train someone on advanced first aid for the job. You see this? OK, give me all steps and make sure they are current and fact checked. Oh God, we're using chat GPT to do this. Look, so this is GPT-4 doing this right now. So it's way more accurate than the old versions and everything. So we're gonna copy this when it's done. I don't know why GPT-4 goes slow now. And then we're gonna paste it over here. We're gonna have a long document and then we're gonna plug it into this tool over here. Okay, so this is what it asked me if I wanted the image to be. No, that's ugly. No, please try again. And as y'all can see, I'm having fun with this. Like it's super simple, y'all, okay? Let's see. Let's see what it comes up next. It's generating profile picture right here, as you can see. So what is ChatGPT coming up with over here? Yeah, this is going well. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let me get a hashtag. Yes, Lord. In the chat or in the comment section and do a Jeet Kune Do Jet Li style sidekick to the subscription button. If you're new here, if you're not new here, do an unbox Muay Thai Tony Jai style high flying knee kick to the uh, share button and share that in all your entrepreneur groups. So boom, we got this and we want to just copy this part right here and we're going to paste this over here wow so this is the first aid training so we want to make sure it is like categorized first let me make sure advanced 
first aid training baby yes lord okay so now we're going to separate it and we're going to go to the next one okay so what's advanced resuscitation okay so now we're going to tell chat gpt same thing give me everything i need to know about advanced reset how you spell it resuscitation recess okay uh citation for the job boom all right so now it's going to do that too yes lord all right so now we're moving on this is the next one they came up with here's a new profile Picture for a job doc, a futuristic style medical kit with sleek lines and neon accents. How does this one look? Do you want further adjustments? Nah, that's fine. Let's continue, please. Boom. This is like a freaking uh, 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 drive through, like a freaking drive through, or, or actually a freaking genie. Like, you don't know how to do no code. You know, you don't know how to do any of that stuff. And you're just literally typing in what you want this thing to build. No code, like AI, no code, you know, uh, apps and all of this extra new technology is way geared and people are giving the credit. All right. So it says to start, could you tell me more about the specific types of emergencies and scenarios the job doc would uh, uh, should focus on to help ensure information provided is relevant and useful? So we got fire emergencies. OK, so we'll say, OK, fire emergencies. Um, am I spelling emergencies right? Slips and falls. Um, let me see what else. <laughs> So we'll say someone stop breathing, not breathing. Let's say as how do you spell asthma? I think that's how you spell asthma. Uh, let's see, hazmat, etc. You know what I'm saying? Like that, all that type of stuff. Fire emergency, slips and falls. Uh, not breathing, bone. You know, hazmat, bone breaking, broken bones. Let's we'll say broken bones. You know, uh, those are pretty much a lot of the dang on emergencies that they have. Okay, so right now it's coming up with that too. So what did this give us? Okay. So we'll take this and replace this right here. All right. Back life support. Boom. So we got that. So as you guys can see right now, so we're we're chopping down like multiple of these dang on uh, uh, trainings right here. So <laughs> this is freaking crazy. And we're going to program it. So where are we going to program it? Let me show you real quick. Boom. Over here. This is the back office. This is, this is like, you know, where everything is configured at behind the scenes. As you can see, it says knowledge right there. And we're going to upload everything that we're uh, uh, we're placing on that doc file right here. You can put video information and scripts and all of that stuff inside there as well. Images that you wanted to read and and learn so that it'll know. All right. So let me come back over here. Let's see what it acts. OK, it said now let's discuss the tone and approach job doc should take. How formal or casual do you want the interactions to be? Also, should job doc use more technical language or keep it simple? Use technical language when asked super technical uh, questions. If asked casual questions, then that's how you should respond. Uh, deal with people accordingly. Boom. All right. So now what do we have? Aviation firefighting. OK, so we got that. Give me everything I need to know to train someone on aviation firefighting. This is crazy, right? So it's going to be a, it's going to be equipped for all different types of industries and and uh, um in emergencies and all of that stuff boom all right so i'm not gonna force you guys let me pause this and then i'll be done all right so as you guys can see man we got a crap load of knowledge that we're going to insert into chat gpt custom gpt part okay now watch this man we didn't even see the second page look at this working at heights road crash rescue uh vertical rescue training working in confined spaces respond to suppress wildfire if you guys are an agency owner or or you have a marketing agency or you know anything about that or you planning on starting one, respond to suppress urban fire. You guys know exactly how how profitable this can make you. You make the right connections. Boom. So we're going to go back over here. And what we're going to do is we are going to click on the configure tab. And this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to click on upload files and we're going to find everything. Come on. Where is it at? Where is it at? Everything, everything. There we go. OK, so now we got the doc file and you can come back if you haven't, you know, gotten everything or something new comes in. You need to update it or everything. Then you will just be able to go back in there and edit this. So now at the end of this, guys, we should be able to ask this this uh, uh, custom GPT tool anything about emergency, um, anything about emergencies like ever. Like <laughs> this is the encyclopedia of emergency stuff now. Like we're going to program all of this stuff in here. You guys can do that too. copy, copycat, copycat. Copy, copy. OK, so now it says. Considering the diverse range of emergencies job doc will cover, how should it handle situations or questions that are outside its scope of knowledge or expertise? Should it provide uh, general advice, direct to external resources or something else? It should uh, redirect them to uh, FAQ uh, related to their exact question or redirect them to contact 911. <laughs> Boom. We still want to give 911 that credit. You hear me? 
We don't want to get sued up in this piece. Okay. So, boom. So, now, as you can see, guys, it's programming. It's doing everything it needs to do. Everything. Everything. For some reason, it's slow as hell, too. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, let me go ahead and bookmark this while it's doing that. I can close this one out. And we're, we're going to ask you some questions. All right. It says, lastly, add a personal touch to job doc. Would you like it to have a friendly and supportive personality or more professional and straightforward demeanor? A mix of all of that. Okay. So as you can see over here to the right, it has, how do I train my staff for a fire emergency? Can you explain evacuation procedure? What are the key steps in first aid? How should businesses prepare for natural disasters? So you can change all of those questions back here in the configure section right here. Like you can like X this mug out. You hear me? Or you can just like hit right there and reprogram it. It's crazy, right? Okay. So now it's set up and ready to help local businesses with emergency response training. Feel free to try out job doc in the playground right now. If you have any refinements or adjustments, just let me know. What would you like to do next? Okay. So guys, this is what you do. If you want to like sell this custom GPT, you can do that. But if I were you, I would use it, find a way to use it as a service. So what you want to do is use those good marketing skills that you got. And we're going to rank on Google in a specific city, emergency response training. And let's see if we can find a city. Let's see, New York. There we go. Preparedness. I guess that's the keyword that people are searching. So we got Atlanta. You guys can see Maryland right here. We got Maryland. So if you rank on the first page of Google for this or put up an ad, you can even put up a paid ad like these guys right here. And then you can recommend people download or pay a, a monthly subscription to your tool or whatever. Or you can train them how to use it in addition to their training and everything like that. How to better their training based off of AI recommendations and everything. Right. Maybe things that they haven't considered because we are humans and we're not perfect. Right. OK, guys. So what do y'all think? Go back and watch part one part two and now you have part three these are all three different niches that you can go and make a lot of money building these custom gpts and you know like like go ahead and promote them as a service all right tell me what y'all think in the comments the first scary and obvious reason you should never create custom gpts to sell um is because look at all the hundreds of videos telling you to do the exact same thing when you create a custom gpt now the second reason you should never Never sell custom GPTs is because you can make so much more money doing what I'm going to show you today. You can make up to $3,000 per so-called client that you're going to get if you don't sell it on this so-called app store that they're going to get, um, like how they're trying to show you on every other video. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create a custom GPT together. Then I'm going to show you how to position it differently so that you have no competition besides the other people that watch this video right here. But at least you only have to compete with the people watching this video versus all of those hundreds of people that did didn't use any creativity that's just telling you to sell the GPT itself. So what we're going to do, because I already have a few ideas that I got um, to create these custom GPTs that will be invaluable for local businesses, guys, not the app store, local businesses. All right. We're going to go and click on create a GPT. I already have this set up so that we can run through this and you guys can pretty much just copy me and it still won't be as much competition that you'll have to go through. And as you can see, you'll be able to charge four hundred to three thousand dollars for this service and local businesses are already Already paying for this service, but they ne they never had it in a way that you're going to provide it. So you're going to be able to make sales effortlessly. Now watch this. I already got it laid out. So what we're going to do is we're going to build something called Job Scholar. So let me go ahead and copy the first prompt, and then we come back over here to GPT. So it says, "Hi, I'll help you build a new GPT. You can say something like, make a creative who helps generate visuals for new products.' So I already got it, and we're going to paste that in there." I say, I would like to make a customized training and education tool. Why did I say that? Why? Because over here, you can expect to pay $400 to $3,000 for a reputable sales training program. Grant Cardone, have you ever heard of him? He made his millions before he really got into the real estate game, selling sales training to uh, local car dealerships and everything. And they were paying him three to $10,000, guys. So yes, you can kill it now that you can scale up with this. So it's going to create personalized education and training programs for business businesses based on their operations, company mission statement, and job position duties. So we don't want to sell the custom GPT itself. We want to keep that. That is our asset. If you don't have no cash yet, it's because you don't own no assets, guys. So you want to keep the asset right? Which is the tool that we're going to create. And you're going to feed information about each employee or uh, applicant that the local business has. That's the service that you're going to be providing. You're going to feed that into this tool whenever they need you to. And it's going to create customized uh, training that's going to make their staff members elite and they never have to have churn, uh, high churn rates or constantly hire people. Okay. So we're going to press go on that and see what it comes up with. We already know what it's going to ask because I've been ran through this before. 
Come on, come on, come on. So it takes a little second. While that's doing that, guys, you have to have GPT uh four or you know, pay for plus or whatever. Okay, so it's asking me the same thing it asked last time. Uh, how about we name this GPT uh Edu Taylor? No, I want it to be uh let's let's name name it job scholar. I think that's how you spell scholar. Okay. So we're going to name it Job Scholar. While it's doing that, I'm going to come over here and get the next thing it's going to ask me for, which is um, these eight things right here. So what I did to find this was I searched what are the most important things employees need to know to be successful at jobs. And it sourced all of this on Google. You can ask the same thing to the regular ChatGPT bot if you want to. But then we come over here. So what it's doing is 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 still trying to create this logo or something so just for the purposes of this i really don't like this logo but we can use it sure let's continue you see how simple this is guys this is why you don't want to just sell these uh, uh custom gpts after you create them because look how easy it is look at the uh, uh the low barrier to entry anybody can create this you want to Give away for free what other people are selling. Use that to, uh, uh, you know, use that as bait. Everybody else is going to be selling this. So businesses, after a, a month of being excited about it, are going to say, ah, nah, somebody else already approached me with that. So what you want to do is use this as the bait. Hey, somebody else approached you to build you a custom GPT. We're not trying to do that. Instead, I'm going to give you a sales program that is tailored to each of your employees. That way we can increase their productivity, which will increase your revenue. In turn, keeping them on longer, lowering your churn rate and, and your need for new hires and all of that extra confusion and everything. So that is a service that nobody else is offering them currently, right? So now it's saying, uh, now let's consider Job Scholar. Should emphasize and avoid interactions. Uh, for instance, should it discuss certain topics, blah, blah, blah. In guidance, blah, blah, blah. Act specific information. Also, how would you like to handle situations? Vague and complete. Okay. All right. It's just doing all this extra stuff that it wasn't doing last time. That's why I already had the answers and everything. How do you envision job scholars to have formal? Mm, OK, it's doing it in different order than I already what I already have. So I said straightforward, casual, modern slang, laid back and easy. OK, playground, separate chat, give it a test prompt, blah, blah, blah. I want. OK, that is how it should communicate with users. All right. Now, while it's doing that, guys, um, you need to differentiate yourself. If you guys are an agency, then this is going to be crazy profitable for you guys. Make sure you guys are sharing this in the groups and everything that you're already in, uh, like with other agencies and everything like that. On top of that, guys, hold on, hold on. What is it asking now? Job Scholar has been updated with more modern, casual and approachable communication style. You can try it in the playground. Uh, no, I don't feel like doing that now. I think it's still remembering what I came through with last time, even though I deleted it. What I'm going to do is just start feeding it what I wanted to do. OK, so these are the topics that I want this tool, this education training tool to help with. And then I'm just going to paste in those eight topics right there. So we got number one solving problems on the job number two teamwork collaboration number three company policies number four leadership skills number five integrity number six job duties responsibilities number damn i got the i got the numbers they ain't on wrong <laughs> so we supposed to have okay so we got the company mission statement time management initiative accountability and feedback boom all right so yes, like I said, it still remembers. It still remembers this. I wanted to run through it as a test instead of doing a video a minute ago, just to make sure I can show you guys and I'm qualified enough to be able to show you how to build it uh, before I made a video. So what it's doing is is doing things in a different order from when I first did it because it still remembers what I just asked it a minute ago. So those are the uh, detriments of working with AI that actually remembers stuff. <laughs> so Job Scholar is now tailored to assist with specific topics 
uh, uh, you've mentioned, such as problem solving, teamwork, company policies, leadership skills, integrity, job duties, company mission statement, time management initiative. Feel free to test it. You see how it keeps trying to get me to test it? It's because it remembers everything. So let me tell you the most exciting part about this, just in case you got a short attention span that nobody else is actually showing you on YouTube. With this training program, this sales training program, you guys are not going to have to deliver it. And the local business business owner is not going to have to deliver it. So let me get the other part. I can close this out now. Oh, also set your reminder to come back here around 445 Central or actually I'm on Eastern time right now. So 445, because I'm going to release part two of another service that you can use these uh, when you create these custom GPTs, your agency can sell a brand new service based off of that. And I'll show you guys what that is. OK, so what's the next step? Uh, it should have collaboration, customize the service. Also want the education tool to be customized. So I want to put this in here. OK. Boom. And then I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. They keep trying to give us to tell us to go over there and do a test. But I'll do a test in a minute. So while it's doing that, guys, boom, this is what we wanted to use to create the freaking uh, uh, stuff. Right. So I hope you all hearing me. I just realized that the freaking um, uh, the Bluetooth is still on. Let me cut the Bluetooth off. OK, can you guys hear me? Let me know in the chat. Can you hear me? OK, so this is called Hey Jen. No camera, no crew, no problem. So this is an AI right now. I don't know if you guys have seen it before. This dude right here is not actually there. That background is not actually there, but it actually looks and sounds like a complete like like a human. It's not like AI anymore. And this is just 2023. Imagine next year what's going to happen. So what are we going to do? We're going to take the training modules that are created based off of the information of the employees. And this guy is going to this guy over here is going to. Well, actually, not him. The powerful part of what I'm going to show you guys is that you can clone the image of the employ employer. The person that owns the actual business. That way, the sales training can be familiar to the the person that's uh, trying to get the job there, or that already has a job there. So you can clone the image, and as you can see, he moves around. It's not like um uh sin 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 matri. I forgot the other one. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's not like that. He can move around. He can copy your mannerisms. He can copy your tone and everything. It literally sounds like you. So we can take scripts that Chat GPT is going to create for the education programs. This is the powerful combination, guys. All of the programs, the training and education is going to be tailored to each employee, right? So right over here, it says Job Scholar now has the personality that combines humor, motivation, and support, ensuring a personalized and engaging learning experience is designed to adapt this educational content based on the individual personality and answers of each employee needing training. You can now test it over here in the playground. So this is crazy. Make our conflict resolution trainer, uh, training funner, funnier. Cr uh, customize a course for an introverted employee. Supportive advice for struggling team members. Motivate our team on uh, upcoming projects. So we'll choose that one right there. Let's see what it does. It's going to create modules and everything, guys. So you already know the power of GPT-4 and 3.5. That's cool. That's not the powerful part. The powerful part is after it creates that, all you need to do is have the uh, the employer, the business owner, uh, do like a, a, a 60 second video moving how he moves or she moves and talking how they talk. You're going to upload that video to this uh, hey Jen software, this AI software is going to clone their imagery and is going to clone their voice. Now, the powerful part about this, watch this, watch this, watch this is that's the only time they ever need to do a video. It's going to sound exactly like them and look exactly like them. You can choose and swap out different background scenes. On top of that, the most powerful part is that you can, with one click of a button, you'll be able to change the language. So even if the, uh, the business owner is not bilingual or a polyglot, Anybody that works at that company. So now they can really expand their hiring efforts and everything and bring on people from different backgrounds and races and everything. I'm an equal opportunity employer. Right. OK, so now they can bring in people that are uh, uh, Spanish speakers. They speak Greek. They speak Bosnian. They speak, uh, you know, Czechoslovakian or any of that stuff. With one click of a button, you can take the English version of all of the training and everything uh, that's, that's going to be made over there. And then you can simply translate that to multiple languages, right? So this is freaking crazy, right? So if y'all aren't excited, I'm freaking excited. So watch this. It says, all right, team, gather around. 
It's time to embark on our next grand event, uh, adventure, our upcoming project. Now let us, you know, blah, 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 whatever. I'm not going to make y'all read that or whatever. Okay, so that's how that will work. So let's see how we configure it. Okay, so you can change this out, right? So we got conversation starters. Just by clicking on a configure situation, you can change this out. And I haven't saved it yet. You see the save button over here when you want to save it. And you can also like publish to myself. I can publish to people with a link. I can make it public. This is crazy, right? And it's only 2023. You can upload files, make it to where they can upload files. And you can add actions. Okay, so let's see about this. I don't know nothing about code interpreter. I missed that one out. So let's see. Make our conflict uh conflict resolution training funnier. All right. Make training module for uh customer support employees. Okay. Uh make motivation no video reminders for employees y'all see how crazy is crazy this is customize a, a course for brand new new employee customize a sales course for a brand new employee based on our services and products watch this look so uh hold on create a customize a sales course for an existing employee that is having trouble closing sales so then we can upload the knowledge okay so we'll click on upload knowledge so you can upload like videos or documents or whatever you need to train the gpt on what the company policy is on you know you're going to upload <laughs> dog i used to have dreams about like you know the matrix when they'll plug in the dang on matrix uh wire situation to the back of your head and just upload information and you, you wake up and be like yo I know Kung Fu or trigonometry or some crap like that, right? So this is as close as it gets in 2023. You can literally upload everything you want this GPT to know about that company and their entire database will be in here. And the courses, the courses, the uh, 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 the training uh, modules, the you know questionnaires, all of that stuff that it creates will be based on that company itself. It's never been anything like this, dog. Like, listen, so tell me that a local business you know, because usually when uh, you'll sit, when you when you'll do sales training, like typically like this right here, the sales training would not be personalized and tailored to the employees that's having the problems. That's why this is going to be so lucrative for you guys. Uh, you're going to be able to in mass, in bulk, like in, in droves, provide personalized, customized sales training to local businesses based off of the new employees that's coming on and their resumes and all of that stuff based off of uh, uh, employees that are existing, that are on the end, about to get kicked out you know, or fired or something, or they want to increase the productivity and the sales and everything. This is why this is going to be like freaking crazy. On top of that, the business owner don't have to even be around to do this. Right. So then we can add. Right. We can add actions and stuff like that. Uh, you know, all of this stuff. You can put a link to the company, you know, what I'm saying policies or something like that, blah, blah, blah. You know, and yeah, pretty much that's it. So that's it. And then you can just save it over here. Click on confirm. Oh, my God. And don't forget to come back around uh, around at two. You know, part two is at four forty five, guys. Part two is at 445. Share this with yourself on your Facebook. You ain't got to share it with everybody if you want to be stingy or whatever, but share it with yourself at least. Uh, so as you can see, it brought us here. So we're in this tab right here. You know, I can hide from the sidebar if I want to, blah, blah, blah. But this is what it's going to look like by David Robertson. <laughs> OK, and then it says make a training module for customer support employees. I will click on that and boom, as you can see, it works. So we created our own custom GPT just for this. You, you Look, I can't wait to show you the type of custom GPT we're going to make at 445 later on today, guys. And as you can see, it's making the module. So if I don't want to actually sit and do all of these dang on videos, I can just copy this. OK. Part one. 
and I tell GPT-4 over here, hold on, let me move this. Wow, okay, now create a video script for all of the above. Boom, and as you can see right now, is creating a video script. Look, you see this, you see how crazy this is. How how like beneficial this will be for local businesses, beneficial it'll be for your agency, especially when you couple it with cloning yourself or cloning the local business that you're going to offer this service to, uh, um, duplicating or multiplying that video into multiple languages. So you can literally offer the service uh, of making them global with this situation. Y'all understand? So let me know. Go ahead and do a Jet Li sidekick G Kong Do style to the freaking uh, subscription button if you're new to the channel. All right. Love you guys. See you in part two all right guys you should never sell ai automation services or custom gpts to clients or on the app store and if you saw part one which is already on the channel you'll know why i'm as happy as a convict that is getting paid and granted immunity to roll over on his enemies now let me tell you what you should do with it go ahead let's come over here how much could i charge to create a sustainability plan so what we're doing is we're going to create a custom gpt that will create sustainability plans for local businesses you can charge fifteen thousand dollars for that it says it can cost people uh a few thousand to ten thousands of dollars. So I'm not lying to you. We're going to use these custom GPTs that you guys are selling for cheap. And as you can see, there's a crazy amount of competition of people telling you to do the exact same thing. I want you to be different because if you're the only, you don't have to be in competition to be the best. So be the only one providing this service. Okay. So we're going to use these GPTs to do this. As you can see, this is my site right here and I have unique services. So give away for free what other people are selling. Then you cut the legs out from up, up under the competition. And then you can sell what nobody else is selling. So we are selling things like uh, $15,000 affiliate armies, $197,000 uh, uh, market monopolies, things that nobody else is selling, but we'll use the custom GPTs and the AI automation services as bait by giving that away for free. So what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna build a custom GPT and you're not gonna have any competition with this, uh, besides the people that are watching this video, you know, that's better than you going against all the people watching those other hundreds of videos telling you to sell the same thing. So in the last video, we built a job scholar uh, sales training uh, GPT, guys. And that way you can offer customized, personalized sales training uh, based on the personalities of each employee instead of just some broad sales training. This is why this stuff is crazy, right? All right, so we're going to go to create a custom GPT. You must have GPT-4 or, or plus, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to create. All right, what would you like to make? So let me see. Did I already copy this? I already got a copy so that you guys don't have to sit and wait. And let me close that out. Hopefully y'all get it. So you can make $15,000 or around that just selling these sustainability plans to local businesses because it's going to allow them to do a lot, like what I'm going to show you right here. Boom, we put this in here. Create a uh tool for a custom hold on create a custom environmental sustainability plan for local businesses tool <laughs> all right that uh that is tailored okay that is tailored to for sustainability plans for local businesses. This service could analyze the business's operations and provide suggestions for energy efficiency. Come on, man. Come on, clap it up in the comments. Let me know, man. What's up? I'm showing you something completely different from what these other people are showing you because I want you to stand out when you reach out to these business owners and you don't get the friction and resistance that everybody else is getting. Okay, so waste reduction and sustainable practices specific to their industry and location and location. So it's going to be specific to the industry and location. This not only helps businesses reduce their environmental impact, but uh, also can lead to cost savings and improve public image. Okay. Then it says monetization could uh, involve a consultancy fee or a subscription model for ongoing sustainability tracking and advice. So it even tells you how you can actually, you know what I'm saying, monetize this, guys. Like I said, monetize this as a service. Do not put this on that little app store that they're going to be creating for GPTs or any app store. Uh, use this as a service because this is your secret weapon. If you ain't got no assets, that's why you ain't got no cash yet. Remember that. Okay. So we're going to delete that. And then we're going to tell it to go ahead and create that. Boom. 
Now, watch this. We're going through this entire thing. Part one is already on uh, the channel. If you're watching this, it came out today at 10, 15. Make sure you go back and watch part one so you'll know how to uh, create custom GPTs as a service for a sales training that is customized. All right. So now and, and in that video, while that's doing that, I showed you guys how to clone the business owner like and, and create the, the clone of the business owner using AI will create the sales training that is personalized to each employee, right? Whatever that employee is struggling with, they'll have customized, personalized sales training. And it will look like the actual business owner created that sales training and it will sound like it. And this automatically with one click of a button will translate that video into multiple different languages without you knowing anything. And it will move. It won't have the Chinese mouth. It will move like it, like the, the business owner actually knows the different language. Man, super powerful. But anyway, let's move on. All right. So now it says for your custom GPT, I suggest the name Eco Plan Helper. <laughs> they don't try to be creative at all. Does this name work for you? Uh, Eco, let's come up with something. Let's uh, Eco. OK, we'll just go ahead with that name for now. Yeah, let's continue. Are y'all having fun with this yet, man? Let me know in the comments, man. Do a Jet Li sidekick to the like button, Jeet Kune Do style, uh, if you're having fun with this. Have y'all tried this yet? What, what custom GPT have you built? Well, matter of fact, no. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> we want to uh, have these as secret weapons, guys. And the good thing about it is you can write down all of the problems, the most common problems uh, that local businesses have in each industry, and you can create a custom GPT for each of those, all right, and use them as a service. Don't give it to the business. Don't give it to the business. Now you're giving away your superpower, right? That's like Superman flying in and instead of saving people himself, saying, here, let me give you all my powers. I'm not going to fly back home. I'm just going to catch the bus. No, he just goes and saves people and they just got to wait till he come back around and save them again. That That's what makes him valuable, right? So you don't want to give away what makes your, you valuable, right? So you keep these GPTs and you, you, uh, you charge as a service for them. All right. So now it says, here's the profile. Would you like to change it? Yeah, try again. Let's just see what it does. Try again, please. OK, so as you guys can see, you can copy these uh, uh, these GPTs that I'm creating right now and you can charge or the, your local market as a service. So the other AI automation services, give that stuff away for free, get that stuff away for free and charge for things that other people aren't uh, offering. That's what you charge for. Charge for stuff that other people can't copy. You understand what I'm saying? So even though you guys can use these right now. In your market, there's no other marketer that is approaching businesses with this. You're going to be the only one that has this while they're trying to sell AI services uh, uh, um, uh, like chat bots and freaking web page bots and bullcrap and cre content creators and stuff. <laughs> while they're trying to sell SEO and all of that and Facebook ads, you're going to have stuff that's tailored to businesses. It says, do you like this one? For sure. Yes, sure. Let's. Let's continue. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how it's going to work and everything. You'll be able to see how you'll be able to make fifteen thousand dollars or more doing these sustainability plans for local businesses. All right. Let me know in the chat if you've ever heard of any of these agency channels and all of that stuff. Marketing, make money online channels telling you to create a sustainability program for local businesses. Have you ever offered that before? Let me know, because then I might have to step my game up. I've never seen it before. OK, so it says, great. Now, let's refine the role and goals of Econ Eco Plan Helper. This tool is designed to offer tailored sustainability advice for local businesses. Could you specify the types of businesses and sustainability topics you like to focus on? For example, should it cover a wide range of industries uh, um, like restaurants, retail, manufacturing? And should it include all aspects of a sustainability? OK, so we're just going to take that. Yep. pause. Now let's talk about should it emphasize and avoid uh, interactions. It's asking multiple questions at one time. OK, it should cover a wide range of industries or specialize. And specialize in certain areas like restaurants, manufacturing, uh, uh, chiropractors, car dealer. Ships, law firms, all the high ticket stuff uh, <laughs> and plastic surgeons. With, OK, it, it, and it should include. Yes. And it should include all aspects of the sustainability, like energy, waste, waste, uh, water management and ethical sourcing are and. 
et cetera. I'll say et cetera. Okay, let's see. We want it to include the technical jargon, but speak with a more human like style. It should include metaphors, similes. I think that's how you spell similes. Um, similes and analogies, as well as name drop celebrities slash public figures to emphasize points and be more realistic with answers. Okay, boom. So now GPT-4 has the ability to, you know, like search the current events of the internet and all of that. So it's way more uh, knowledgeable and smart. So when it's doing is research or creating the, uh, the answers and the content and the responses and everything that it's going to do, it will be able to get more up-to-date information. So that's where it's at. Boom, boom, boom. So it says Eco Planner will now cover a range, a wide range of industries, including restaurants, retail, manufacturers, chiropractors, car dealerships, law firms, plastic surgeons. It will discuss all aspects of sustainability, such as energy, waste, water management, all of that stuff. OK, so it will blend the technical jargon with a human like style. So now it says now let's talk about how Eco Plan uh, helpers should clarify information with users. Should it ask for more details if a question is vague? Yes, it should ask for more details or uh, ask the person to rephrase the question in a more simplistic way. Okay, how should it handle requests outside expertise like legal advice? It should say, I'm not an expert in that, but I'll redirect you to someone who is. Are y'all seeing this? Are y'all seeing this? Okay, boom. All right, <laughs> so we're making this wise. And then you guys are gonna see how we configure it and everything and give it all of the information that it needs from the local business. So when you're dealing with the local business, when you're creating these custom GPTs, you'll be able to like take all of the information and feed it, like information about the industry, information about uh, uh, like the local businesses that you're working with and all of that stuff, feed it in there. So the answers will be completely, uh, 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 you know, verified, right? You, you know, you don't have to depend on GPT just making up some stuff that's false, right? So now it says, finally, finally, Let's personalize how eco plan helper communicates. You've mentioned it should use technical jargon, but in a human uh, human like style. Should it also have a sense of humor? Be strictly professional or something in between? Uh, how should it address users? Okay, it should address users uh, casually if it knows their name. Okay, it. And should it reference current events, it should definitely reference current events when making a point that is relevant. OK, are you guys getting this? Like, is this making sense to you guys? Like, I hope so, man. Come on, let me know. Let me know. Let me know in the chat, baby. Class participation points. OK, so it says trends and sustainability, current events. Yes. And trends. Uh, what else did it ask? Strictly professional, it can have a, you know, it can it can use humor as well when permissible. I think that's how you spell, was it? Yeah, there we go. Boom. Guys, now guys and girls watching this, it's not going to be fully, you know what I'm saying, like uh, fully, you know, uh, complete or powered until you do the configured section right there. So right now it's kind of like a shell of what it can possibly be. And as you can see, it's actually trying to, you know, build everything out and everything right now. So this is cool and everything. 
Uh, but we want to get to the configuring stage and feed in as much information about the industry and about the local businesses specifically that we're going to be dealing with uh, their their uh, habits and, you know, and everything when it comes to their lack of sustainability, uh, their energy habits, their waste habits and all of that stuff. We want to feed it in there, feed it in there so that it can create tailored plans for these local businesses. So now it says. EcoPlan Helper is now set up to provide custom environmental sustainability plans for a variety of uh, industries with a focus on being relatable and up to date. It uses technical jargon in a human like manner, incorporating humor and references uh, current trends and sustainability. This tool will address users casually, blah, blah, blah. Now I invite you to test out the EcoPlan Helper in the playground. Try asking get questions related to making a business more sustainable. If you have any re refinements or additional features you'd like to ask, let me know. Okay, so, hey, so it's pretty much done, guys. You can go ahead and you can save it over here. This is how you will save it. Then I can make it public. Oh, why won't it let me? Okay, maybe I got to say it's done. Okay, so maybe it'll let me save it now. Let's see. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see if I can. Why won't it let me? Hold on, maybe I got to test it out first. Yeah, I think I got to test it out. What are the latest sustainable trends for retail stores? Boom. So as you can see, it's working over here. It's searching latest sustainable trends in retail. And it's visiting websites and stuff. Look at this. This is freaking crazy, man. So you're going to keep this asset because this is going to be your superpower when you're dealing with these businesses in the niches that you're going to be dealing with these businesses. You'll always be valuable because since you created this tool, it's, it's, it's like a, a weapon in your arsenal that nobody else is able to use. Well, it let me go ahead and say this. Why won't it let me say this, guy? I put it in the chat. Why won't it let me say it? it says GPT name cannot be empty. Where's the name? Uh, okay, let's go over here to configure. Okay, it doesn't have a name. That's why eco, I don't think I like the eco plan, but we'll use eco plan assist. Eco, eco plan assist. So as you can see over here, guys, it's actually creating a plan for retail stores. This is crazy. This is crazy. And if you don't want to give it to them in a document, uh, form you can do this at scale, you know, by going hey Jen and duplicating a copy of yourself and your voice and feeding in uh, this right here, this information right here, and then it will just literally create the the videos in multiple languages for you with your mouth moving with the language itself and all of that look realistic even though it's ai is going to sound realistic they won't even be able to tell the difference you can choose the background where you're at everything looks realistic it's crazy matter of fact you guys don't even know if i'm here right now because that's how realistic that is no i'm just playing i'm here okay <laughs> but that's how it will go so then you would save it but what i want you to see right here guys is this part right here you can choose which questions you want as far as like prompts conversation starters and everything if you don't like uh, how this is, you can always come back in here and configure it when you edit it. But right here, this is where you'll upload the knowledge of the industry, their habits and the things that they do that's not sustainable and everything that you're going to be like, be able to help them with and all of that. That way you'll be able to give them customized tailored plans to their industry specifically. And you can charge so much money and help them save on costs and overhead and all of that stuff. Guys, you want to be an asset just by owning your assets and then you'll be able to get that cash. Yes, Lord. All right, so I'm going to confirm that and I'm going to save it. And as you can see, boom, voila, I have it right here. This is my own custom GPT. As a chiropractor, how can I use less plastic? Look at that. That's crazy, right? Uh, can you suggest eco-friendly upgrades for my restaurant? What are the latest sustainable trends for retail stores? How can my law firm contribute to buy environmental? Law firms might not be the best one for this. <laughs> Think of companies that use a lot of plastic. Think of companies that have a lot of waste and stuff. And that'll probably be the niches that you want to go after that that would, you know, be more powerful, uh, um, you know, strategy uh, strategically to reach out to with this. And as you can see, your GPTs that you create are over here. You must have the 
the plus plan, guys. And then you would just come over here and you would create a new GPT. There you go. And you can always come in here and you can edit your GPTs right there or you can delete your GPTs by clicking on the three buttons. Make sure you stick around because tomorrow I am going to drop part three and we're going to have a completely different service that you can use these custom GPTs to sell local businesses. Remember, never sell AI services like chatbots and web bots and all of that Zapier, Zapier regular stuff that everybody else is telling you to sell. Too much competition create use leverage this ai to create your own assets and and sell the services from the the assets that you create okay you guys understand like like the the ai punchline is not as powerful as it used to be don't even tell the local business that is created from ai because they don't even know or trust it any freaking way you understand so that's not a superpower when you reach out i'm going to give you an ai no say i'm going to create a customized or personalized sustainability plan for your blank whatever company and it's going to save you around 20 to thirty thousand dollars a year i'm just throwing numbers out there so this is how you can charge up to fifteen thousand dollars or more with these local businesses by creating custom gpts love you guys see you in tomorrow's video